Hey guys, A.L. Levy here, and I am going to unbox Doomed by bringing me the Horizon, which is March 2018, Nail the Mixes song. And uh, first of all, I just want you guys to see that there is nothing on this session. It is completely blank. Everything is zeroed out, and we're ready to go. First thing you will notice is that this is a big session. Lots of tracks, which I personally enjoy that sort of thing. A whole lot of programming and strings and synth, tons of vocals. As you can see, so many layers, strings. You got more, uh, and I believe that these are real. Um, bass DI and a bass amp. Um, of course, guitars, and it looks like a pretty standard drum set recording, and they were cool enough to include the samples, so let's just check out the, uh, the raw drums real quick. Man, that's a very good sounding drum room, wow. That is quality, my friends. Of course, I would change the levels a little bit. It's a little too roomy right now. And the direct mics are a little quiet, but it is just leveled out. Um, let's check these samples, see what we got with it. Nice, that's usable. Nice kick room sample. You know, sometimes I nail the mix, the mixers include their samples that they use on the mix. Sometimes they don't, it's completely up to them. But it is always cool when we get the samples that they did use on the mix and they are this high quality. We are just handing that to you on a plate, by the way. Like, if you can't make that sound good, then, well, you should be subscribed to us because it means you need help mixing, and that's what we're here to do. Let's check out this bass DI. Sounds like a bass DI. But let me also mention that it's a very good bass sounding bass DI and uh, you should totally be able to get a workable tone out of this. Yeah, it's, it's good, especially with that bass amp thing included. Oh, very nice. It's a distorted bass right there. And they've given you some cool stuff on this session. You know, even though this is a raw unboxing, I will go ahead and pan the guitars because centered heavy guitars just sound weird. So left, right, left, right, and then I'm just going to follow what it says here, left, right, left, right. There we go. This is raw, and it already sounds really, really good. I feel like I say that lots of times on Nail the Mix, but hey, we are working with great tracks, so it is what it is. Mm -hmm. 
Nice. Now let's see what these chords and rakes are. I'm imagining that these are guitars because it says rakes, clean, evos, and they're purple. That's tasty. Did I mention to say that Ebos are one of my favorite guitar tone devices ever on the planet? Well, they are, in case I didn't say it. As you heard for a second, I just unsoloed everything, and there's definitely quite a bit of mixing to do, but as you heard from the vocals, this is all super high-quality stuff. So I uh, want to give you a word of advice, and the word of advice is balance. You're going to need to really get your balances tight on this mix, and just try to keep in mind what needs to be your foreground instrument, your middle ground, and your background, because... Uh, you can really get lost in uh, in the fray on this kind of stuff, just listening to the little details, because they really do sound so good. You just want to turn them up too loud or listen to that. But don't forget, you've got wall of guitars and like 8 million vocals here and programming and orchestra and everything. Oh, yeah, and drums and samples to contend with, too. So don't get carried away in the land of chords, rakes, and cleans. even though it is a nice place to be. Let's see what these tremolos are all about. And that already sounds huge, and no vocals, no synths or anything. These are all guitars, bass, and drums so far. Let's have a listen to these vocals. Quite a few of them. It's getting darker, but I'll carry on. The sun will come rain on my parade. Cause I wanna feel it. Come shove me over the edge. Cause my head is in overdrive. I'm sorry. Seriously, this is yours to mess up. These vocals sound great, and they're so well arranged. Normally, you see a ton of harmonies like this, um, and you're thinking either. Well, it could be a queen, which would be great, or it could be hell because they quadded and octupled the vocalist because he sucks, or it could just be the case of some really badass production with great vocals, and that's what you've got here, and a lot of it to play with. I'll come rain on my parade, cause I wanna feel it, come shove me over the edge. Cause my head is in overdrive I'm sorry but it's too late And it's not worth saving So come rain on my parade Alright, let's mute some of these vocals and check out some of this programming in orchestra And vocal effects intrigued by what this vocal chop is. Let 
Oh, that sounds beautiful. Great synth bass. This is some expertly arranged, expertly programmed, and expertly just laid out synth. This is a this is a rare treat, actually. very nice sounds almost clockwork orange-ish and if you don't know what that is uh, sorry well my friends there it is you have your work cut out for you as you can see there is a lot to do in uh, Doomed by Bring Me the Horizon. However, not in terms of repair or anything like that. In this case, it's more about getting the balance right and preserving the spirit of what the artist intended because the production team did an immaculate job with this recording. Um, it's basically given to you uh, and it's yours to mess up. Have fun. This is This is a rare thing. You don't normally see sessions that are this well put together. I'm A.L. Levy with Nell the Mix, and uh, have a good one.